We take a deep breath. How about we calm down? No, no, my match is in half an hour. David, I am so sorry. Can you do me the biggest favor and step outside? I need to talk to my son. I think I should just like go home and, and uh, you, should, you should go to the meet. Yeah, thank you. That's a scene uh, from uh, Will Ferrell starring in the short film David, one of more than 200 films being showcased at the annual uh, fourth annual Academy Awards qualifying Indie Shorts International Film Festival. The festival is part of Heartland Films platform. It features 22 world premieres, 19 U.S. premieres. Six-day event uh, starting in the week ahead offers indoor, outdoor, and virtual viewing options for movie lovers and also offers uh, some big Hollywood names like Will Ferrell, Noah Reed from Schitt's Creek, and William Jackson Harper from The Good Place. We get more on this year's Indie Shorts International Film Festival from Heartland Film Festival Artistic Director Greg Storbig. And Greg, uh, welcome to the program. And this is, uh, I would say, kind of quietly become quite an event, fourth annual event. These are f films 40 minutes or less. Right. And the, the, the reaction and the interest in this is growing exponentially. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of the films, I think we average 13 minutes per film. There's some that are longer, some mm -hmm. that are shorter as well, but we package them into feature length programs, 33. So they're yeah. all themed from comedy, Indiana films as well. But yeah, it's a great smorgasbord. You can see a program have a wide variety of different films. And, and talk about the number of, of uh, short films you, you had to kind of comb through, uh, the number of submissions you had, because yeah. it's, it's astronomical. Yeah, it grows every year. We're an Oscar qualifier, yeah. and we got animated. So we qualify in the three main categories of animated, live action, and documentary. Since we got animated, submissions even went up yeah. in spite of COVID. So we had 3,300 short film wow. submissions from all around the world dozens and dozens of countries, so um, I'm the head prospector, if you will, <laughs> at the top looking for the fool's gold, the, the, real, um, the real McCoy as well, too, and we have volunteer pre-screeners watching films. We have people on staff that are watching films as well, going to festivals yeah. virtually this past year and now in person recently, too, yeah. looking for the best films to show here in Indy. And you can legitimately say uh, that the road to the Oscars runs through Indianapolis. That right? is incredibly true. I think especially for short films, being a qualifier, if you win one of our grand prizes, you have this Wonka golden ticket. You get to leapfrog some of the requirements for the Academy, and you are immediately on the map for contention. Yeah. So we've had eight winners, including one last year. Um, if anything happens, I love you, the animated film from Netflix, mm -hmm. and 29 nominees in the past decade, which is phenomenal. Wow, that is phenomenal. Uh, a lot of films we can talk about, but some big names in some of these mm -hmm. uh, films. Will Ferrell, we saw that in the <laughs> right. introduction there. That's going to get a, a lot of attention. Yeah, the film is fun. And Zach Woods, who's kind of my celebrity doppelganger from uh, The <laughs> Office in Silicon yeah. Valley directed this film as well. So funny guy behind the camera. It's a fun dramedy. So Will Ferrell is a psychologist. He's in the middle of a meeting uh, or session and his son kind of interrupts and it goes from there. And that's in the program, well, this is awkward. Uh -huh. So that's all different films within the program were kind of awkward or yeah. <laughs> weird situations. So it's a fantastic film. Also, uh, Noah Reed. Uh, yeah, Noah Reed's in a film called The Archivist. Yep. It actually premiered, the world premiere was at Toronto last year. We have the US premiere of this film. And it kind of ties in music as well, people in this kind of not too distant future that find a house and instruments and they kind of go from there. So mm -hmm. it's in this expressions program, kind of art, music, poetry, mm -hmm. an eclectic mix of films. Yeah, you know, the, the event, uh, the festival starts Tuesday uh, and there are a number of venues, including Bottle Works. So this will be a chance to really showcase uh, yeah. one of the newest venues in town. Yeah, last year it was all virtual. We did some drive-in screenings um, and you know, been, being around for three decades, we pulled people who've been with us, our patrons, our members, and you know, there's some reluctance to go back to theaters, but especially the last couple months have been fantastic. So we worked with the Bottle Works mm -hmm. um, in their beautiful living room theaters, um, flagship uh, location for Fast and the Furious 9 a couple weeks ago, and it's beautiful. I mean, the whole area Art Deco um, mm -hmm. beauty is there, and it trickled over to the theater. State-of-the-art projection as well, too. So people come in, you're gonna be impressed. Amazing bar, mm -hmm. great food, um, and it just, it looks like you're in um, a brand new theater. So if yeah. you know, people are, are people gonna come back to the theaters? Yep. Well, this is a, literally an all new experience that people yeah. in Indianapolis and beyond can come and experience. And, and the opportunities uh, are varied or diverse because you've got the in theater, you've got mm -hmm. virtual, you've 
you've got outdoors. So lots of options to view these films. Yeah, definitely. So virtual, I mean, you can watch it kind of Netflix style a la carte um, at IndieShorts.org from the 20th to the 25th. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a night on Friday at the Indianapolis Art Center. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday night, we're going to be at the Indie French Theater outside in addition to Bottle Works, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we have panels as well with um, industry folks like Sheila Evans from MTV Films. Um, 76 Days was picked mm -hmm. up at Heartland last year and is now Emmy nominated, just won a Peabody, was Oscar mm -hmm. shortlisted, so she'll be joining us for a panel too. So a lot of opportunities yeah. in person and virtual. Yeah, and the impact, the economic impact, the visibility for Indianapolis at an event like this, I think can, can translate into this whole talent initiative. You know, we want more people to stay here, live, work, and play yeah. here, to attract here. Mm -hmm. This adds to the quality of place equation for Indiana. Yeah, I would say between the Heartland International Film Festival and Indy Shorts, we do have industry players and filmmakers coming to town who otherwise wouldn't be coming to Indiana. Indianapolis, since we lack incentives. I think there is initiative, I mean, in um maybe a driving force behind that. That might be something in the near future. Mm -hmm. But we do give a lot of cash prizes. Mm -hmm. We've given 3.5 million since 1992. Indie Shorts alone will give 32,000 next week too. So yes, we definitely, between the Oscar um, notoriety, mm -hmm. having filmmakers come to town. And that's the other thing too, we didn't know if filmmakers would be coming. Yep. We do have dozens of filmmakers confirmed to come to Indy as well. So we're very excited to welcome people back here in Indianapolis. Indeed, the spotlight will be on Indianapolis for the Indie Shorts International Film Festival. Greg Sorvig is the artistic director at Heartland Film Festival. Greg, good luck with the event. I know oh, it'll be a great so event. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thank you.